Who wins? The world's greatest detective that unravels every riddle thrown their way with the utmost ease? Or some rich kid that dresses up like a nocturnal bird because his parents died at a matinee showing of Hamilton? Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. Did comparing you to the chibi girl from knockoff ancient China who also doesn't have real parents, but isn't a little piss baby about it, touch a nerve? Why don't you have Michael Caine wipe away your tears for you while he wipes your ass, you coddled caped crusader? One point for Mau Mau already. Look, we all know prep time Batman is apparently some impressive man of many feats, just because he has the awareness to pack a slab of kryptonite in his little fanny pack so that he can beat Superman. Here's the thing. The Bat needs a month's worth of prep time just to beat the shit out of Danny DeVito like it's some major accomplishment. He gets kidnapped and thrown in a ditch and he needs a squad of riffraff chanting for him just to climb out of a little hole. Mamau throws on her thinking cap, eats some poison, and solves mysteries like she was bred by Sherlock and Watson. Or Fred and Daphne. All the while, she fights off prohibition and clings to her liquid poison like the patriot she is. Murder? Solved. Baby powder poison? Solved. Her own kidnapping by ruffians? Solved. Ancient bomb? Solved. And she didn't have to blow herself up over Gotham to figure that one out. Does Batman have an incredibly attractive androgynous husbando that may or may not have had his manhood chopped off simping after him? Actually, he probably does somewhere in his villain's gallery. Bad question. That one is on me. But still, Jinshi is a man worthy of many dynasties and concubines. And yet he wants none other than Mau Mau, because she's got that mysterious allure. Also because of the implication. Both Batman and Mau Mau may not kill, but I've never seen Batman drop a bitch slap like this. It's usually Barbara Gordon or Batman's boy Robin mentally getting broken due to Batman's incompetence. But here, Mau Mau is the one laying down the law. She sends this chick way past Arkham and drops her straight to the Shadow Realm. You know, on second thought, Mau Mau does have some blood on her hands. She uncovered the decades-long truth of a baby murder and got this lady hanging in Town Square by sundown. Meanwhile, your boy Bruce drops Joker off at the asylum and the clown is out of there faster than if he had been in the McDonald's drive through line getting a coffee and a hash brown. Hell, Joker is out of there before Mickey D's even switches the breakfast menu off. Granted, considering how the Bat lets his rogues run wild like their Miami college girls on spring break, he's accountable for far more death than Mau Mau. So, point to Batman there, I guess. Though truthfully, the real crime is how much McDonald's is charging for a hash brown these days. Maybe the Joker was right. Much like McDonald's, Batman tries to maintain the underbelly of society. Mau Mau, on the other hand, is the underbelly of society. She's out there bumping elbows with some of totally not China's classiest and bustiest ladies of the night. Mau Mau is in and out of this brothel like she owns the place. On a first name basis with the owner, Catwoman looks at Batman the wrong way and he loses his composure like he's in an Andy Sandberg music video. Guy really needs some post-nut clarity. Post-bat clarity? Speaking of Batman's ladies, Mau Mau is essentially Poison Ivy, except competent and not played by Uma Thurman in one of the worst movies my eyes have ever been burned by. Though there is no ancient China version of Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Apothecary Diaries, so I guess we have to give the point to Batman here. On second thought, Mau Mau does figure out what happens to this frozen dead chick, which is very similar to Mr. Freeze and his frozen wife. Lady's just sitting there like a bag of broccoli in the back of the freezer. You think Bruce Wayne used his incredible fortune to save her? His wealth, his fame, his knowledge? Nah. Playboy can't even figure out how to cure a terminal illness. Ice cold. I guess this bat is cold-blooded. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Mau Mau wouldn't even let her breakfast get cold because she could find Carmen Sandiego and Waldo before those flapjacks even hit the plate. Though I'm not sure if they have IHOP in her land. I've also never seen an IHOP in Gotham, so one more point for Mau Mau. Unfortunately for Batman, the answer appears obvious. No amount of prep time would help him in a matchup with Mau Mau for all she needs is a stiff drink and a little bit of poison to take down the Dark Knight. Quite frankly, after all this, I don't think Batman could even take down Columbo. Now Columbo vs. Mau Mau? That's a real battle of the minds, I'd like to say. A Shinigami, huh? You know, my wife's got a friend who knows all about that. Spirits of death, she calls them. Real scary stuff.